In this neutralization reaction, we have zinc hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. And they combine, they give us this zinc phosphate, which is a salt, and water. So that's our neutralization reaction. Let's balance the equation. I am going to use a bit of a trick, though. This PO4, it's called the phosphate ion, it stays together. I have it here and here. So I'm just going to count that as one thing. And you'll see that right here. That'll make it a lot easier to balance. We have one zinc. We have two times the one. That gives us two oxygens. Two times the one hydrogen. So we have two of those. Plus, we have these three. So we have five hydrogen atoms. And then we have just the one phosphate we talked about earlier. On the product side, we have three zincs. Then we have just the one oxygen here. We're going to ignore this because it's in the phosphate group. Hydrogens, we have two. And then we have two of these phosphates here. Lots going on here. It may be easiest to fix the zinc. Let's leave the oxygens and the hydrogens to last. So we'll fix the zinc by putting a three in front of the zinc hydroxide. So now we have one times the three. That gives us three zincs. Those are balanced. We do need to update the oxygen and the hydrogen though. So for the oxygen here, we have two times the one oxygen, that's two times the three, that gives us six oxygens. Hydrogens, two times the one, that's two times three, we have six, plus we have these three hydrogens right here. So now we have nine hydrogen atoms. Okay, why don't we balance the phosphates? We're gonna leave all this here to last. So the phosphates, and to do that, we have two here and one here. We could put a two in front of the phosphoric acid, and now that would mean we have one times two, That'll give us two phosphates. Those are balanced, and we need to update the hydrogen. So we have two times one, that's two, times three, that gives us six, plus three times two is six. So we now have 12 hydrogens, but we're getting there because we can now change the water. So if we wanna have 12 hydrogens here, we need to put a six as our coefficient, and that might fix the oxygens. So we have two times six, that'll give us 12 and one times six, that'll give us six. And we've balanced this equation. So the trick here, leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. And then if you have a polyatomic ion, like the phosphate that stays together, we have it here and on this side, count it as one item. We couldn't do that with the hydroxide because it got broken apart into the water and so on. But with the phosphate, that saved us a lot of trouble. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for zinc hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. Thanks for watching.